Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you a way that you can save a lot of gold throughout phase two. You can do this in later phases as well, uh, depending on the crafts and stuff like that. But this is specifically for phase two. So this is gonna be like if you're planning to eat a lot, if you buy like the food, food from vendors. So let's take this one for example. Let's say that you're level 40, and the highest one that you can buy, I know that you can get the food from mages and stuff like that, but if you're not planning to do that, or if you're not doing that a lot, I know there's a lot of people that is, that is uh, buying the actual food from vendors, but you can save so much gold if you do it my way. So let's take this one for example. We have the, I'm just gonna fix this. Uh, not that one, we have... hell where did it go oh there it is okay so we have this one for example over here we have the let's say that you're level 40 and this is the highest one that you can buy it doesn't pan on if it's a cheddar cheese or some meat or anything it's the price that we're actually going for and it's a level 35 and all level 35 is gaining this amount of health so this is like the best one that you can buy from vendor because after that is 45 and that's not until phase three. So let's take this one for example. You have to buy, the, pri the price is kind of depending on your faction uh, reputation with that faction. So this one for example is Thunder Bluff and I'm friendly with Thunder Bluff. And let's say, take a, make a calculation here. It costs 20 and you buy five of them. So divided by five. Every time you're sitting down to eat one of these, it's gonna cost you four silver each. So keep that in mind. Let's do it here. Uh, for, uh, vendor, we have four silver per eat. Okay, so that's that one. And then let's do times five equal 20 silver. So now we know that the the vendor one is gonna be 20 silver each. Well, four times, uh, four silver every time you eat. So, and if we go over here, there might be other ones as well. I haven't looked it up into it, but this is one that I found that is very cheap to craft. So we have this spotted yellow tail. You're gonna have to buy the plan. Uh, we don't have anyone on the, I think we do. We might have one on the auction house. So sure, it, it depends on if you want to do this or not, but you can, this one will pay off pretty quickly if you're gonna do, if you're planning to eat a lot and you're doing it this way. So in my opinion, if I know I'm gonna eat a lot, I would invest in this five gold, no question asked. But let's take this one for example. This one, uh, for starters, it's more cheap to buy from the auction house. Just straight out. It's, uh, so let's take like this. Buy from AH. It's uh, 2.46 silver per eat. Uh, equals uh, X5 equals so how much is that? That is 2.64 times five. So that's 13, 13.2 silver. And then let's make like this, 20 minus 13.2. So equal saves six silver eight. 6.2. Eight silver so it's not much but it piles up so uh, if we take that one times five so no oh yeah, yeah I already had that done that one so from just buying it from auction house you're already saving around seven then silver let's make this even more profitable so at the moment, it costs 
75 copper to craft it. So the the raw one is not that great. I mean, it doesn't give that much health. But you need one in order to craft the bigger one. So let's take a craft. And then we have, it's going to cost, let's make an average. So let's say one silver because it's not that many. So let's take it's uh, one, around one silver. Let's say like that, around one silver. Or, okay, I can be nice, 1.5. Okay, it's a bit higher. But if, around that level. Because there's, a, there's I don't think you're going to buy more than, than this one, for example. So, but I'm going to be nice. So it's going to be even lower, but okay. Silver per eat. So, uh, times five equal, let's make a calculator here. 1.5 times five. So that's seven, 7.5 7 silver. And let's make a save from the original one, the vendor one instead. So just because it's a much higher number, which gonna which means that we're gonna have twenty minus seven point five. We're saving saves twelve point five silver per buy. For, from five of them. From five. You're saving twelve point five silver. And that's just buying from five. Let's take this to another level here. Let's say that you, every single day you play, and let's say you go over, I don't, I don't know how many you would eat, because I don't actually eat that much, but if you're planning to do that, this is just a small tip. Let's say that you are buying 50, because you're, progress, you're progressing in Gnome Regan, and you're questing, and... Yeah, pretty much everything. You're eating a lot. So let's say that, well, let's say that you're buying 30. Let's say 30. I, I That might be a, a bit much, but it's it's something. We, let's go with something. Now, now let's go with 20. So that's one stack. So we're going to have 1.5 silver times 20. It's going to cost you 30 silver. So this one crafted. 1. 1.5. Wait. 0. 0.5 silver. Times 30. 20, I mean. Times uh, 20 equals 30 silver. So, and if we would buy this one, the first one, it's going to be 4 silver times 20 4 times 20 that's 80 silver 80 silver so already there you're saving a half of a gold from just one stack that's one stack you're saving half a gold like you're saving 50 silver let's say that you go uh you go over one stack each day for throughout whole of phase two. You're playing seven days a week. So you're saving 0 0.5 because it's in decimal times seven times. Well, okay. So from, from one week, one week, uh, we have, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And let me change the place where I have the calculator so it's a bit more up. Like this. Okay. I'm going to do like that and pull out the calculator again. There we go. So in one week, what did we say? 1.5 times 20. That's 30 silver in one day. Uh, yeah, so we saved 50 silver. Because it's the, uh, it's this number from the vendor if you buy one stack. And it's this one if you craft it yourself. 
So in one week, so every single day you're saving half a gold times seven. That's three and a half, three and a half gold in one week. And then let's say that you are, uh, that's one week. Let's take a month. That's 14 gold. And we're going to have it for about three months, I think, times three. So it's 42 gold. It might not sound as much, but I mean, that's just from 20. I know a lot of people that is buying a way more than that. They're going through a lot of food and this is just a small amount. So, I mean, if you're playing a lot on level 60, you're grinding or you're like anything, you're doing dungeons, anything at all, you, like just from the whole phase, you're saving 42 gold. And that's just from if you're if you're doing twenty if it twenty food every day seven days a week for three months, and that's just twenty. I know a lot of people that is spending like forty, probably. Maybe not a day, but like on an average, some day it might be more, some day it might be less. But like, admit it, you're buying a lot of food. Like, you can do this from level 35 while you're leveling. And if you're leveling, if you're questing, you are actually eating a lot between, depending on your class and runes and all of that. But this is something that you can do in in classic also. You can save a bunch of money while you're leveling. This is a way that you can do it. If you can find the recipe fairly cheap, if you are playing hardcore, for example, or just a classic. Just try to calculate a little bit. And yeah, it's just a way that you can save money. Um, if you click on the video over there, I'm gonna explain why enchanting is my favorite profession through the history of World of Warcraft. And uh, I hope you to see you in the future in this video. Well, that's in the past, but yeah. Until next time, bork bork!